Hey, this is Josh with Budget Mechanic. Today we're going to jump right in. Here in Hawaii, we've got a lot of hills because the whole island is a mountain. So I see a lot of brakes, a lot of brake problems because people wear through brakes way faster. Rotors, pads, all the hardware just because they're using them so much, especially if they're not using them properly. The owner of this car says that he's hearing brake noise when the brakes get warm after he's been going down a hill or something. And interestingly, it happens when he's not pressing the pedal. When he hits the brake pedal, the sound goes away. So we're gonna drive up this hill, come back down, warm up the brakes, and see if we can recreate that sound. All right, so I'm getting to the bottom of the hill, and I'm starting to hear the sound, a little chirping. I mean, the sound is kind of going with the speed of the wheel, so it tells me it's definitely like a brake thing. It's not gonna be like a bearing. It's, it's the rotor passing through the brake pad at certain points. It's, it's hitting or grabbing or scraping or something. So now that we're all warmed up, it's pretty pronounced. Just from even inside the car, I can tell it's up front, probably the left. So when I hit the brake, it goes away. When I let up on the brake, it comes back. That would get old fast. So that noise that I was hearing with the brakes is kind of a squeaking, scraping noise. And to me, that sounds just like the, the low brake pad indicator on your brake pads. When they wear out, a little metal tab scrapes against the rotor and makes that sound. The owner said the brake pads were done not too long ago, so I'm inclined to think it's something else. So it's almost like scraping your fork on, a, on your plate. It's, it's the hard metal against something hard and you get a scraping sound. And that's what's happening when your brake pads get glazed. So I think that might be what's happening here. And the reason that it's only showing up when the brakes get hot is because the brake fluid and all the metal parts, when they heat up, they expand, and then your tolerances get smaller and start, things start rubbing harder together. And then the reason that the brake sound will sometimes go away when you press the brake pedal is because they're lightly rubbing on each other when you're not pressing the brake, and then when you hit the brake, they get forced together, and that sound will often change. But we don't know for sure, so let's get this wheel off and check it out. Just initially pulling the wheel off, I can tell already that this has gotten really hot. The whole surface outside of the wear, wear area is like got this purple sort of blue hue to it, like it got really hot, like if it would have been heated up with a torch. I'm just gonna flip this caliper up so we can take a look at the brake pads and see how they look. Should normally just be a gray metal color, but this has got some blues and purples in it. Ooh. So the other thing I look for when I'm hearing scraping or squeaking is that this brake hardware, these little metal tabs that, that hold the pads in, they can get shifted or bent and contact the rotor and they'll squeak and scrape like a low pad indicator. Um, so you wanna check these gaps here, make sure they're all clear and make sure nothing's rubbing. These ones look good, they look fine. This shield behind the brake can also make a scraping, squealing sound if it gets bumped or bent in on the backside and touches the rotor. Um, it's a little more rare, it usually happens when you make a mistake during your brake change and you bend it and it touches the rotor. Um, and that usually happens kind of all the time, whether or not they're hot, but it's something to look for. So you can see here on the surface of this pad, there's some pitting where material's actually fallen away from the pad and it's also got a shiny look to it. That's a glazed brake pad. And um, I think that's our problem. So when a pad gets shiny or glazed like this from heat, the actual surface material hardens um, and then it no longer is as effective. So if this had gone on a lot longer, the hardened pad surface would actually start to wear out the rotor uh, prematurely as well. So on a lot of rotors I see, there's a deep grooving and scraping from hardened pads. Now a lot of mechanics will tell you, you have to replace your rotors with your pads. And I get that, but to save money, if I've got a decent looking rotor with no warping and no deep gouging, I'm just gonna replace my pads and it's gonna be fine. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and kept you from having to take your car into the shop, saved you some money. If it was helpful, you can show your appreciation by hitting the like button, subscribing, leaving a comment. Until next time, keep wrenching.